So it's great that you now know how to do all these different types of AB and multivariate tests. But something that I see brands struggle with a lot is actually logging and recording the past performance and results of their historical AB and multivariate tests. And the reason why that's so important is the whole purpose of AB testing is to continually iterate and improve upon your current performance. And how are you supposed to do that if you don't know what worked best with a certain type of audience from three months ago as you're starting to formulate your new testing strategies or decide, hey, for this send, we're actually not going to test because we know that for this audience, this type of message performs best. So in comes the SMS AB test results archive. I took an online resource that was primarily meant for email and repurposed it to work for SMS. And this is where you can track all of your SMS tests, not only what the date was, but also what the hypothesis was, what type of test it was, what the goal was, was it to increase clicks? Was it to increase revenue? What the results were and whether or not it was statistically significant. So I'm going to include a downloadable spreadsheet of this, as well as a link in the comments to the Google spreadsheet that you can duplicate and use yourself. And you can also start to tweak around as well. So you can see here, we have different types of tests, but feel free to add in additional ones if you have new ones that you want to add in there. But this is where you'll actually log all of your tests. And a lot of these formulas, a lot of these uh, cells actually have formulas. So for example, whether or not it was statistically significant is derived via a formula. Then in the second tab, you have your dashboard. So this will give you a high level overview of number of tests run and how many were significant as well as what the test type was and the percentage that are significant or not and how many tests were run in a given month. And then last but not least is a test ideas queue. So I really like to open this up to the entire team and have people populate ideas in here that can be implemented for new AB tests. So that's a great way to sort of crowdsource ideas around how you could potentially improve your SMS performance. Those are the only three tabs. It's just a really useful way to actually track what you've historically tested so that you can use that information to inform your testing strategy moving forward. So I'd highly recommend utilizing something like this or any other system that you come up with. All that matters is that you're keeping a historical track record of your testing performance. Otherwise, what's the point of testing?